At the Roselle Center for Healing, we care about your health and want to help you take your health in a new direction, far from drugs and surgery. Knowledge is the key to optimal wellness and control of your health. We offer free health education on chronic health conditions and natural integrative medicine treatments. Register for free today. Attend Natural Solutions for Chronic Arthritic Pain on Wednesday, March 23rd at 7 p.m. Space is limited, so register today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit rosellecare.com. This is Dr. Tom Roselle. After 43 years of practice and over a million patient visits, the Roselle Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellecare.com. That's rosellecare.com. The information provided on Dr. Tom Rosell Live by Dr. Tom Rosell DC, interview guests, show co-hosts, or substitute hosts is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. It is for general information purposes only. Information from this broadcast should not replace the appropriate consultation and examination process by a licensed physician. Always consult your own physician prior to changing any current medical directive or prescription. Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Tom Rizal. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal live. Indeed, we are live and it's cold outside, so I'm staying inside. But nevertheless, I'm going to warm you up because I have some really interesting thought processes that I want to go over with you today and something that you can actually apply like right now to you know, this afternoon. And if you listen to the, the, the thoughts that I've been playing around in my head for a while, you understand that disease processes are simply uh, this. You're the cause, you're the cure. Yep, that's right. I said it. You're the cause, you're the cure. So we're going to explore that because, as you know, the the doctors at the Result Center for Healing and all the uh, platforms that we talk about, we talk about structural, chemical, and emotional stresses or stressors that cause virtually everything that goes on in your body. And, you know, whether you have a degenerative disc in your low back, whether you have the flu, whether you were accept, uh, susceptible to COVID, um, whether you had diabetes or you have anything else, there's a triggering mechanism on one of those three sides. There's injury to the body, the structural platform. There's biochemical, bioelectrical irritation. And then there's the emotional side or the thought process, the decision-making process of the brain, the susceptibility of who we are to that ongoing energetic that comes seemingly from everything. So I want you to think about that. I want you to remember that you're the cause, you're the cure. So that simply means that virtually everything and anything that exists has the ability to resolve itself regardless of what it is. And I want to walk you through that a little bit and, and get a better understanding because there's so many people in my career that have come in for, for care over 45 years and they've had debilitating conditions, things that their physicians have told them never go away. It's your you have a limited time, and at the end of that time, there's nothing anybody can do for you, and you're gone. And somewhere in their uh, their brain span, they say, "I don't think so." Who gives you the right to tell me I'm going to die? And they resolve the condition, and they live years and years longer. And then there's somebody who comes in. Yeah, they're not in a good place. They're sick, but it's highly resolvable. And their physician uh, tells them, listen, it's going to be a, a, a rough road, but we're going to pull you out of this. You shouldn't have any problems. At the end of the, the journey, you're going to be fine. But in their brain, they decide that this is a death sentence. And instead of surviving and resolving, they get progressively worse and then they check out. So I want to touch that a little bit today because I want to give you some tools that you can begin to incorporate in your own world and what we do at the Result Center for Healing on a lot of different levels. But first, there's, you have to understand it. You have to really get to that place where you know that that piece is part of what goes on with all of us. And it doesn't make any difference what it is. But I want to take you through the, the body's mechanics. And I want to talk a little bit about, you're going to hear me talk about wavelengths and photons and the energetic platforms that we're all made of. And, you know, it's, it's exciting, really. It's, it's an area that we're finally starting to get some science on, if you will, and one that we can predictably, objectively stimulate. But I'm here for you today at 888-630-9625. That's 
800-926-9625. Give me a call. We'll take your questions as well and try to walk you through uh, whatever problems that you might be having. And you could also get a hold of me by simply going to rosellecare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com, rosellecare.com, or go to drtomrosell.com, D-R-T-O-M-R-O-S-E-L-L-E.com. And I promise you, I will, in fact, get back to you. And, you know, if you need to talk to somebody like yesterday, uh, we'll have one of our really outstanding great doctors give you a call, and they'll answer whatever questions that uh, that you may have and try to put you in a, in a better place, something that you can do to help yourself. But let's explore that understanding of, you know, you're the cause, you're the cure. But to really get that, you have to understand how the body is, right? You have a physical body. You can put your hands on it. You can touch your shoulders and your head and your face and your fingers and your legs and your toes and so forth, unless something dramatically has happened to you and those things no longer are on the physical plane. But those structural components are broken down into uh, organ systems and tissues, and those tissues are broken down into molecules, and the molecules are broken down into uh, cells and atoms and substrates of those atoms into photons and neutrons and so forth. Getting complicated? I hope not. So then you have the subcomponents of those atomic particles, which are called photons, and that's nothing more than a wavelength, an energy platform. And if you change the photon by any means whatsoever, if you can change that photon, that energy wave, you change everything else within your body. Interesting, right? So there's a science that has been evolving now over you know, the last several decades, and it's called epigenetics. And that means that your genetic map, whatever it happens to be, and by the way, you only use about 1.5% of your DNA at any time whatsoever. 1.5%, that's not a lot. So scientists used to say that the rest of it was junk DNA, but we know that it's not junk DNA, it's dormant DNA, one that hasn't been provoked or um, you know, put forward. So the epigenetic pattern means that your environment, your thing, your, your, the things that you're exposed to, the thought processes that go through your head, the chemistries that you absorb, the um, traumas that take place, provoke certain responses within the body. And as they provoke those responses, the genetic map begins to unfold. So here's the deal, right? Let's say that you have a, a, a mother or a father or somebody who, and it runs in your family that you have a certain type of cancer. There's a colleague of mine that just passed away recently. And in his family, there's a certain type of stomach cancer that has taken several of his family members. And once it's found, there's no cure. It's according to science as it is, and you're you're basically gone at that point. But does that mean that that's going to happen? In my experience over 45 years, there are some people, as soon as you tell them they're going to die, it's like, quick, they're done, they're out. And there are certain people that you're going to tell that are, are you know, this is a dangerous situation that immediately go into damage control, we'll use that uh, th that statement, to be able to stimulate their body's repair system. So remember, you're the cause, you're the cure. I've had several, uh, more than several, I've had many different examples of that over a period of the years. Uh, there's a guy that many of you may have heard the name, his name is Tony Robbins, he's this great uh, motivational speaker, life coach. He's a, uh, a business entrepreneur. He runs multiple companies. He allows people the opportunity to learn different skill sets to shift and change how they apply themselves, if you will. His keynote address is something uh, called Fear into Power, the Firewalk Experience. And here's a four-day event. It's called Unleash the Power Within. The first day, what you're doing is he's bringing your energy up. He's getting your mindset in a very different place. And then at the end of about four and a half hours, you find yourself standing in front of two feet by 15 feet of 2,000 degrees of hot burning coal, but you're barefooted. That's right. That's what I said. You're barefooted. And you're about to step upon those coals and walk 15 feet and guess what happens? Nothing. 
you don't get a pink spot, you don't get anything, you don't get burned. How is that possible? How does your body, your mind, control the physiology, the atomic structure, the genetic map, if you will, to allow you to successfully do that when you won't reach into your stove and grab a grate at 400 degrees and pull it out barehanded? Well, that tells you that virtually anything can change, and sometimes it's a matter of perception. And we're given that capacity, this body, this amazing machine that we have that we get to walk around in this world and this life on has the capacity to do so many different things. We, you know, over the years, we touch up on the areas of of uh, clairvoyance and things that nature we perceive incoming electromagnetic fields, if you will, wavelength, hertz levels that bring us information. We are susceptible to everything that's in our environment. We go to mountaintops to heal. We go to oceans to heal. We go to running rivers to heal. We get into the sunlight to heal. Those elements allow the body to be stimulated in a way that they will uh, begin to produce different cells that we can you know, uh, heal much quicker. How is it that over the last two years, you know, we have been and still trained to be fearful of some bug that's floating around in the environment that given you know its characteristics is very contagious and but some people all they have to do is you know you have to mention it and they're still walking around with you know double masks on and they're and I see them out running by themselves I see them out you know going for a walk and and it's like fear has set in but what they don't realize is that they are setting the stage environmentally their environment their internal capacity to be more susceptible to many other things as as well but there over the last two years there are people that have uh have been exposed to it uh, multiple times and don't get sick i'm one of them i've treated many patients uh with covid over the last two years to help them to support their immune system to do everything i can possibly can and i was solid all the way through without too much of a problem over the holidays at Christmas, um, I ended up with a, a positive test for Omicron, and I had about a day and a half that, you know, two days, three days that I felt pretty sluggish and wasn't, uh, wasn't in the best place I could possibly be. But it snapped out of it. So what's the difference between me and somebody who's younger? And I don't have a problem, but somebody else did. So we're going to talk about you're the cause, you're the cure, and what that really means and how you can turn things around. Uh, virtually with any condition that you have, you can get things to heal, uh, you know, in, in a twinkling of an eye, if you will, but we're mostly in a demand state and not a demand state, but an acceptance of, of, uh, your body's ability, your capacity to be able to do that. When we look at a patient that comes in with any kind of condition, no matter what it is, whether it's heart disease or whether it's migraine headache or whether it's an allergy reaction, it's an irritable bowel syndrome, there's always three sides of the story. There's always a neurological piece, there's always a biochemical piece, and there's always an emotional impact or decision-making process of uh, that the body is is going through to be able to impact it. When when I deal with emotional platforms with patients, I look for, you know, not why is that, you know, what do you think about that, how come is this, is, you know, what I'm looking for is what the energy platform is telling me. Is the energy in the body strong enough to resolve the situation? And in many cases, it's the process of the mind that says yes or no. So I want you to think about it. If If you've been struggling with something, if you've been hanging on to something over a period of many years, what is it that you're holding on to? What is your belief about that condition? Now, I'm not saying it's all in your head, but it's all in your thought process in many situations that given the best treatment that is not resolving itself the way it should or the expectation that you should be uh, experiencing, if you will. So let's Let's talk about that. Let's put it together. Let's see what we can do to give you some tools as we go on in the program. So I want you to remember, you're the cause, you're the cure, and let's let's uh, resolve things that you may not thought were possible. And you're going to sit there and say, what is this crazy man talking about today? Well, you're going to see more of this as we go through. Remember, you're the cause, you're the cure. I'll be right back. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal Live. Don't go away. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rizal here. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal live as you do every Sunday, right? 
tell your friends. We're here. We've got a fascinating program today, one that has been in my brain recently on a very, very personal level, uh, but one that I'm asked about on a regular uh, basis in the office. And what we're talking about is that emotional side of healing. And I coined the expression, you're the cause, you're the cure. And the truth of it is, is that when any process takes place in the body, whether we're depressed, whether we have cancer, whether we have uh, a problem with our legs or our low back or our heart doesn't work the way it's supposed to, there's an emotional component to that. There's a decision-making process that is very impactful. We talked a little bit in the first part of the program about guys like uh, Tony Robbins, who in one of his programs has people, thousands of people at one time walking across 2,000 degrees of hot burning coal. And some of you who are the naysayers are going to say, well, there's always somebody. Yeah, there's always somebody who's not paying attention, not doing what they're supposed to be doing, is going to get a, a burn. But you know, 99.5% of the people that are there or more have no experience of the heat or the burning situation. You have people throughout the world that can do all kinds of weird things and you say, my God, how does that happen? So there's that piece, that emotional side, that impactful side that allows us to be superhuman, if you will, uh, to be extraordinary, to be supernatural. Uh, is it a, it seems to be that way. Is it really that way? Or is is that the piece of healing that we give credence to from conversation, but we don't accept and we don't buy in? And so what I purport to you is simply this, that the three things that we talk about relative to the impact it has on resolution of health conditions or the creation of health conditions, the injury patterns that take place, they're either profound or they're minor, the biochemical, bioelectrical exposures that we have, and the emotional pieces that we hold on to, embrace, think about, and so forth. uh, Those are the ones that can really set the stage, if you will. If everything else is done right and our thought process, our headspace isn't where it should be, we're not going to resolve anything. It's going to linger or it's going to get progressively worse. Sometimes we hold on to thoughts of we don't deserve to heal or, you know, this is happening to me because of and the litany of things that go on, you know, or come out of our mouth over a period of many, uh, you know, many regurgitations of things that have taken place over the years are what really keeps us down. So you're the cause, you're the cure. So if that's the case, can we resolve those things? You know, I did a program on an uh, ongoing basis years, I'm kind of dusting it off uh, in, on fibromyalgia or chronic pain patterns that affect the entire body that don't go away. And the one thing that I told people back in the day was until you get your head to the place where it produces the, the neurochemistries, the biochemistries that, uh, that you seem to be suppressing based on being stuck in that, well, you know, this is my lot in life, is never going to go away. So we have to make sure that we're able to treat that energetic platform. You know, Einstein, and you know, spin off of his work, uh, we have in front of us the 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 amazing uh, field of quantum physics and quantum mechanics, and it tells us that you know, virtually everything that exists. Uh, exists in an energetic uh, platform that all possibilities, whether they're disease processes or healing processes, uh, they exist uh, on a level that we really haven't thought too much about, and that's that energetic field. And I want to get into that in the second uh, part of the program. I want to tell you some of the things that you can do. I want to introduce you to uh, some things that you can explore, because at the end of the day, it's the tools that we continue to work on. You know, it's like before we can ride a bicycle, we got to ride the tricycle. Before we have to, you know, uh, explore anything, we have to understand the basics. And that's what I really want to give you. We're here at 888-630-9625. That's 888 9625 I'd love to talk to you. You know, if you, if you find yourself stuck in a place where you've done everything you could possibly do, but you wonder why nothing's working for you, this might be a insight to something that you have to work on or change. Remember uh, the area of epigenetics, you know, the structural, chemical, emotional platforms, uh, the bioelectrical platforms, the thought process, the, the belief systems that we have. 
all have an impact on how we heal. It's, it's, it's not psychosomatic, as many people, uh, you know, want to put that out as an excuse. It is the mind controlling how the body physiology begins to express itself and repair itself. So if we can make that happen, meaning if we take control of all the other elements, if we take control of our physiology, if we take control of uh, how our body expresses itself, and we can, and we understand that we can, and we learn the mechanics of what we can do about it, then miracles seemingly happen. And I want you to understand that you are the miracle that's living within your own body, and you have to take everything else to make it better. We're coming up to a break. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal Live. Don't forget, you're the cause, you're the cure. We'll be right back. Dr. Tom Rosell Live continues now on News Talk 105.9 WMAL. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rosell here. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. Interesting program today, right? We're talking about the emotional side of healing or the mental side of healing or the process of making a decision when it comes to the disease, dysfunction, disharmony that goes on in your body. And I coined the term, you're the cause, you're the cure. And think about that for a minute. What if, what if that everything that goes on in your body in a state of depletion, in a state of disease or dysfunction could be your under your control? It's something that you have absolute and total control of. You know, we, we all walk into energetics, uh, meaning environments, if you will, where we feel uneasy. Everybody's had that experience that, you know, you walk into a room and you just all of a sudden feel, I really don't want to be here. So that tells you that you're susceptible to vibrational platforms. Now, we're talking science. We're not talking metaphysics. We're talking about things that actually occur. So if you have that experience, it has to be coming from something. It has to be coming from a wavelength of some sort, uh, an energy platform of some sort that we're all made up of. And we talked a little bit about just touched, I mean, literally touched on the subject of quantum physics and quantum mechanics, which basically says that everything that exists is exists in an energy platform, your disease processes and so forth. So if that's the case in our physiology, our, our body, our soma is controlled by all the energetics and the energetics are physical energetics they're vibrational energetics. They're caused by the, the, uh, influences of our foods, of our environments, but also of our mindset and our belief systems. Does that mean that if we've done everything else and that should work for us, but it's not working for us, that we have to change the way that we perceive something? Or simply put, do we have to change our attitude? Well, maybe that's the case. And in my 45 years of practice in dealing with patients with all kinds of maladies and disease processes and symptom presentations, the one thing that I know is true is that the person who can change their thought, they can change their awareness, that opens up the realm of possibility. They're the ones that seem to resolve their condition rapidly. We're here at 888 That's 888 I'd love to talk to you. If you have a comment on the subject, let's uh, let's play with it. Uh, you can also get a hold of me very easily at drtomrozell.com. And that links into Rozell Care, you know, uh, Rozell Center for Healing. So check that out. Or you can go to rozellcare.com. Either way, you can get a hold of me and, you know, check us out on a lot of different platforms. But this is an area that's fascinating to me and it always has been over a period of years as I watch different patients respond, people with high blood pressure, for example. How about the white coat syndrome? Is that a physical problem or is it an emotional problem that's manifesting itself in a physical way? It's dangerous, right? You go into a physician's office and they take your blood pressure and it's 180 over 100. And you look at the doctor and say, my blood pressure is never like that. It should, there's something wrong with your instrumentation. Because when I take it at home, you know, it's 122 over 74, 72. Well, that tells you that there's another piece to that. We say, well, you know, it's a stress pattern. 
Yes. But what's the belief system behind the stress pattern that allows you to do that? Is it the fear that you say I'm in the wrong place or he's going to find something or she's going to find something that I don't want them to find? What is the platform that is evoking that? How is it that some people and I have a patient that unfortunately is no longer with us, this great guy, and he was working for a major company in in the Washington area. I met him when he was about 39 years old. And this young man at the time had a very serious car accident when he was overseas in Thailand. And uh, he had a blood transfusion. And I met him and started treating him. And he was doing very well and, you know, knew him for basically a decade. And then what they they did uh, when he was about 50, 51 years old, he um, they promoted him as senior vice president, head of a project that he was uh had been working on all these years. And when they did that, they gave him, you know, quite a, a benefits package and, and gave him all kinds of uh, health insurance and retirement plans and uh, a huge, huge life insurance policy for his family. The guy's married, got a couple of kids. So when they did the blood work, Doc calls him in and says, sir, I don't have to tell you this, but you're HIV positive. And this guy was uh, was straight, wasn't a drug user, he, you know, very heterosexual man. And uh, there was no reason. They checked his wife and she was fine. But how did he get it? Well, it was the blood transfusion in Thailand that did it. But in his mind, his brain, that was a death sentence. And we know in Western culture that today nobody dies of AIDS if they're being treated properly because they can suppress the uh, uh, the antibody to the place where it's not even in existence. So what happened to this guy? His mind said, this is a death sentence. And so what happened over a period of the next few years, his body started breaking down. This highly active, very gregarious, very open, very dynamic young man began to go down the tubes. And within a short period of time, he ended up with pneumocarnicisti, which was a cancer of the lung, and he ended up passing away. And yet you see other people who are given even much more significant, immediate uh, health uh, diagnostics, and they resolve themselves, they turn themselves around. So whether you have the white coat syndrome or you have fibromyalgia, pain that doesn't go away, uh, and I, uh, a program that I used to do years ago was called Fibromyalgia, the Undisease. And I uh, coined it that way simply because of the fact that if you rule everything else out at the time in the medical community, that and you were still in pain, they couldn't find anything else. It had to be fibromyalgia. And so it was the a diagnostic that was the exclusion of everything else. But there were people that did extremely well and there are people that didn't do very well. I've had patients with MS that we've treated in a very traditional well, way and who got them better. And But uh, some people resolved 100% and the markers go away. We've treated other people with autoimmune conditions, the marker goes away. And then yet some people who have highly resolvable conditions and they never seem to pull out of it. It's almost like they need to have that. That's the perception of themselves, the belief systems of who they are, the the thought process that, you know, they're not enough. I don't know, but it's been a fascinating experience over time. So when a patient comes into the practice, we look at them from a structural injury uh, point of view. Have they been hurt? When was the injury that occur? You know, it goes back sometime at birth as well. When a child is born, often they're injured because they've used back in the day forceps or a suction or they had to turn them because they were breached and they got uh, jammed up against the mother's pelvis. So the cranial plates, the bones of the skull were irritated at that point. Um, was it an injury when we were kids? We're all falling off of things and messing around and so forth. Well, we That's how we grow up. But, you know, where did it come from? And then what was the belief system about that? You know, we've done studies with uh, kids in school when we've taken kids who are, are dyslexic or kids have other types of learning uh, difficulties. And we've expressed to them that they are straight A students, that they do very well. And we put them in with the expectation that they should soar. And guess what happens? They do. But if we perpetuate the thought process that, well, they they have to be treated a little differently, um, you know, th they struggle a lot. So 
how much of that is valid? And there's many of you are going to say, that, well, I have a problem. How do I get out of it? Well, you look at the structural, chemical, emotional platform together, tied in as one piece, and you begin to resolve all of them together. So as we go through, I'm going to give you some things that, you know, that you can do. Um, you know, you've heard me say many times when I've lectured that in our society, when we're born, we, you know, we come into this planet and we have the capacity for function, providing that mom and dad didn't mess up with anything, you know, when we were conceived or when we were uh, being carried uh, in the form of drugs or bad foods or exposures or stress patterns and, and the like. And, you know, when my uh, my son, who was our first child, and when I was in school, I was in professional school and uh, my wife was pregnant with him, I used to put a headset on her belly and I used to talk talk to him and i would say you know you're going to grow up to be the greatest amazing human being on the on the face of the earth and this is your dad remember this voice and so you know and sue would let him, don't say anything bad because he's going to remember it and i and i understood that innately at that time and i didn't do that but we are often the result of our environment that epigenetic pattern people are told you know why do you think you're so you're so good nobody else in our family has done that or, you know, you're not that strong. Why do you think you can do that? Or, you know, listen, you know, put that mask on because otherwise you're going to get sick. You know, put that mask on because, you know, you're going to be susceptible to whatever. So pretty soon we buy into the thought process and our body goes into acknowledgement, if you will, and portrays those thoughts. And we end up having shifts in our physiology and that physiology shift then uh, causes the pathogenic expression of that when i talk about pathogenic problems i'm talking about the changes in tissue the degeneration that occurs the cancers that show up the cells that don't form properly those are the pathogenic pieces so our body says well it, it's like that because it runs in my family well it's like that because you know i live in a certain area that i'm exposed to you know that epigenetic like if you lived in western new york state back in the day love canal you had bethlehem steel with the mercuric oxide you know smolting into the air you had all of those things that affect the body or if you say, you know, well, I come from this, this happened to me when I was at this age and your body begins to buy into that and you begin to express it. So here's our, our thought process. You're the cause, you're the cure. So did you cause that accident to take place? Did you cause that exposure? No, but you accept it as being valid as its impact upon you so often more than not. So if that's the case, what can we do to shift it? What can we do to make a difference? When I go through a process of reporting to a patient about their health condition, one of the things I talk to them about is that there's three things that cause anything. There's injury to the body, there's biochemical, bioelectrical irritation, and then there's the thought process, the decision-making process that the mind goes through. Whatever you hold is true is valid for you. Whatever you hold is not true becomes negative and invalid in its application to your health and your life. So if that's the case, if that's true, then how do we go about shifting those thought processes? How do we make a difference? I tell patients, you know, you need to do one of a couple things or both of them at the same time. You need to pray or you need to meditate, preferably both. You can, if you're a person of faith, you can sit there and visualize the change, the shift, the God-given uh, energy that our creator has bestowed upon us and uh, look at it as you know, it's something that is healing you. If you, know, you look at everything as universal intelligence and so forth, then sit and meditate and realize that you're part of the energy platform that makes up, surrounds us, that's inside of us, that's around us, that's, uh, that's within everything that we touch and allow that to be part of you. So you get better at it over time. And there are many different people out there that can teach the process. It's not shifting into the realm of esoteric. It's just understanding that we are all part of an energy field that is called the quantum field and that's where quantum mechanics and quantum physics come from. So, you know, with respect to all of you and all of us, I'll let you make the decision as far as, you know, what and how you want to apply that and what fits for you. For me, you know, uh, because, 
you know, I believe, uh, you know, in God, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to go into a meditative state and I'm going to think of my creation and I'm going to realize that I was made perfectly and that it's, you know, it's a matter of locking into that source to allow me to express myself and but understand that I'm very respectful of those of you who really need to understand that the energetic field, the quantum field, the quantum mechanics and physics uh, theoretical expression is really what is changing so much about who we are. So structural, chemical, emotional. So I want to drive that in. And, I, you know, the reason I got into this today is simply this. I've had patients continually ask me, you know, you're, you're treating structural things, you're doing all this, you're doing this muscle testing, neurological testing, you deal with the biochemical side, you're dealing with, with all of that. What is it, if you will, that you're leaving out that I don't completely understand? And so we talk about, uh, you know, that belief system that we all have and the expression of that belief system in our bodies. You know, we've studied uh, people who say it can't be done, it can't be done, it can't be done. And then Jim Fix, you know, who broke through the the four minute mile where everybody thought it was impossible that no human being could ever do that. But in his mind, it was possible. And he, once he did it and he broke through it, all of a sudden, universal belief, all these other guys within one year were able to break the four minute mile. That's the thought process. If nothing else, you have to understand that once you ex- accept something, your body goes into agreement and says, yes, I can do it. So if you're suffering from a cancer, if you have heart problems, if you have chronic pain patterns, if you have emotional disturbances and all those things, if you get into slowly, step by step, piece by piece, changing the energy platform that's associated with that you'll find that the things that you're doing treatment-wise, whether it's acupuncture, whether it's chiropractic, whether it's applied kinesiology, whether it's herbology, whether it's naturopathic medicine, all those things at that point have a much more profound impact on your body's ability to resolve the issue that you're being challenged with. Sometimes, as I said a, a few minutes ago, we accept the prognostic uh application of our environment, of our families, of our friends, of our associations. And we say to ourselves, well, everybody else in my family has got this, so I'm going to get that. Or nobody else has resolved this type of problem. Why should I be able to resolve it? You know, what what is it that we're dealing with that is so impactful uh, that I'm being challenged with this. It's a, it's a process that we have to really understand. We're coming up to a break. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal live. You're the cause and you're the cure. And I want you to understand that so you can begin to resolve virtually anything that goes on. Don't go away. I'll be right back after some very important messages. News Talk 105.9. WMAL. Welcome back, everybody. Listen to Dr. Tom Rizal live as you do every Sunday at 12 noon in the Mid-Atlantic area. Hopefully, today's program provoked you a little bit and gets you to, to think that maybe your condition isn't permanent. Maybe there's something more that you can do about it. Maybe you need to take the next step and really resolve that structural, chemical, emotional imbalance, emotional meaning the decision-making process. And by the way, I want to clear something up. I made a, a slip and I was called on it and I appreciate that. And I said that Jim Fix was the guy that broke the four minute mile. He was not, it was Roger Bannister. Jim Fix was the guy that started the running uh, craze and fitness craze, and, but he died at 52 years old. And interestingly, he left out one side of the triad. And what was that? The biochemical side of the triad. He was the guy that did a lot of, you know, positive stuff with uh, the mind. He did a lot of things physically, but he forgot to change his dietary pattern. And he was known for eating all kinds of things he probably shouldn't have eaten. And so he died a young man, ironically, based on everything he did. But Bannister was the guy that broke the four uh, miles. So I stand corrected and I appreciate the correction very much. Sometimes my brain gets working a little too fast and I give you data that is... 90% correct, but we have to give credit where credit's due. You're the cause. You're the cure. So I want you to do something. I want you to sit quietly. And the best time of the day to do it is in the morning when you first get up. 
And there's a statement, act as if. That means live as something has already happened that you want it to happen. And, you know, if, you, uh, if you're if you a person of faith, uh, sit quietly and thank your creator for uh, giving you the opportunity to heal, that your body's in a position of healing, and have the emotional set as if that was already happening. If, uh, you know, you believe uh, in uh, a higher power, but, you know, you're having a hard time subscribing to uh, that term called God, well, you know, I want you to sit as well, and I want you to lock in, but I want you to act as if your body's being healed already, that that higher power, if you will, has given you um, the tools, the capacity, the energy to resolve it. Uh, first thing in the morning is the way you should be, you know, and give thanks that it's happened, but truly give thanks. What is the emotional set that you need to have? And gratitude and love is the most important. Your heart is the energy platform that everything is attracted to. Your heart is what gives off energetics as well. But live as it already exists. Make sure you take the opportunity to, on each and every day, don't miss a day and sit there 10, 15, 20 minutes and feel the changes and the shifts of healing that can take place in your body. It's a tool that I encourage you to use as part of that epigenetic platform of affecting your genetic map, your physiology, and there is no need for any of us to, in my belief system and where my head is, to suffer the slings and arrows of uh, dysfunction and deterioration and degeneration when the, all the things that we need to have have been given to us that are inside of us already. The body has the ability to resolve anything. You have every chemistry that you'll ever need. You just need to trigger its release. So if you're the cause and you're the cure, then begin to develop the muscle strength, if you will, of what it is that is necessary for you to cure yourself because it's been given to us in the way that we're designed and how our body has been put together. So take those pieces, sit quietly, act as if it's already existence, it's already there, that uh, you've resolved the condition regardless of what it is and whether it's an emotional condition, it's a physiological condition, it's a biochemical condition, Make sure that you see it as you want it to be and accept it and embrace it and give thanks for it. Remember, gratitude and love are the two most impactful and important things that you will ever have that will stimulate your body's restorative conditions, the ability to virtually resolve anything. I hope the program was interesting minimally. If you need to reach out to me, do that to drtomrosell.com or rosellcare.com. Either one, I'll find you and respond to you. We'll be back next week with another interesting program. Remember, I keep doing this for one reason only. I love you all. Bye. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, author of Ageless Health, Health is a Do-It-Yourself Program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. At the Roselle Center for Healing, we care about your health and want to help you take your health in a new direction, far from drugs and surgery. Knowledge is the key to optimal wellness and control of your health. 
We offer free health education on chronic health conditions and natural integrative medicine treatments. Register for free today. Attend Natural Solutions for Chronic Arthritic Pain on Wednesday, March 23rd at 7 p.m. Space is limited, so register today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit rosellcare.com. This is Dr. Tom Roselle. After 43 years of practice and over a million patient visits, the Roselle Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellecare.com. That's rosellecare.com. 